Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and we're back on the cyanide meter again. So after the last episode my parts have come that I was waiting for and I've changed the two capacitors to the correct value and I've also noticed I'd put in another capacitor of a wrong value which shouldn't have caused too much of a problem but it should have been a one mic and I'd put a ten mic in so we've got those corrected but we're still suffering this strangeness that's happening on the meter so what we've got here now we've got a 2k tone going in and we're monitoring the minus voltage part of the schematic diagram and as you can see by the meter it's bouncing all over the show and if we switch it to 1k a bit more steady but the voltage at minus voltage is completely unsteady and the meter is actually shaking so let's have a look on the scope so this is what we're seeing on the scope with a 1k tone and this is at the minus voltage point now that for me is not very good considering this is supposed to be a voltage point and there's noise and all sorts happening onto it so what did I do well I did something and this happened it went clear so let's have a look at the schematic diagrams and I'll show you what's happened and I'll show you that the original author of this circuit failed to put a part in which is quite a critical part so I really don't know how he got his meters working so here we have the schematic diagram which I'd linked in the um, comments of the first video after somebody put an idea in my head um, Mr. M0XFX UK said something about decoupling. Maybe it's a decoupling problem. Well, he was kind of right. He was kind of right. So, thank you for that comment because it got me thinking. So, let's have a look at the diagram. So, everything is the same as it was. Now, down here, this is where we're monitoring here at this minus voltage point and this is the point with the noise all over it now let's go to the original author's diagram yeah uh, really come on even yeah this is um it's not very clear but he has his power supply down here with his minus voltage with the negative well ground sign on it minus voltage ground minus voltage ground I mean come on it's not very clear is it but this is his power supply that he's using now this is the same as my power supply which has got the problem now let's have a look at the Motorola cyanide meter now here's the Motorola cyanide meter which is coming up in a future video when my boards come but let's have a look at the power supply for this so it's laid out a bit differently but it's essentially the same so we have the Zener we have the 100 mic capacitor you can forget this but here we have the potential divider which is basically what this is so here we have the potential divider with a 680 ohm and a 1k which then goes down to the minus voltages and eventually ends up at the the correct zero volt through these so if we follow this back looking at pin 4 and pin 11 of the main op amps so that's a positive supply which is fine so here we are here we have the potential divider now what's this? 
it's a hundred mic capacitor and this hundred mic capacitor is not on here and hundred mic capacitor is not on here and there's no even there's no sign of a power supply on this diagram which is really not very clear I mean the guy released them on his channel you know yeah go on build them but I know what I'll do I'll make it hard work for you because I'll make the schematic practically unreadable and the other schematic will make it yeah a complete mess but anyway there should be a hundred mic here and that's what I did I put a hundred mic between this point and this point and guess what the meter works beautifully let me show you so we'll put it back to a 2k tone so there's our 2k tone you can see this voltage should be the 5 volts and it should be steady and we're getting this weird AGC action going on but here's my 100 mic and if we can connect the 100 mic up oh look at that everything's gone steady and the trace on the scope has now gone flat disconnect it voltage is all over the show again reconnect it perfect so let me solder this into place get it hooked up to a radio and we'll show you it working so there's our 100 mic put in place and we've got a 2k tone in now with a 2k tone you would expect this behavior because the circuit is looking for a 1k tone so we can use this control to get the full scale deflection so we'll leave it at that because that's absolutely fine now if we stop it and we bring it down to 1k start it off now we have this now we use the other two controls to do exactly what you say and null the signal down oh look at that it practically goes to the bottom with hardly any noise on it so I'm wondering if the original author of this project the noise he thought was the op amp was just because this line didn't have its 100 mic on it so we'll just null that down and there we get the signal practically the needle practically fully over so we'll switch that back to 2k again the needle goes up we'll stop it we'll put it down to 1k and the needle's flat so let's plug it into a radio so here's what we're going to be using to demonstrate this so we've got our signal generator we're outputting a 2k signal at the moment and we're on a major 120 set to channel one high band on FM so let's have a look at the meter now I know there's no correct scale on this meter at the moment because it's just here for demonstration and just for testing what well, slightly makes some sense into this board so we've got a 2k signal coming from the audio of the radio we've got a dummy load across the speaker 4.8 ohm wire-wound resistor and we've got an audio isolation transformer just to isolate the signal stop any potential hums or anything so there that's what our 2k signal in perfect so we'll drop it down to a 1k signal and as you would expect the needle drops now we'll start lowering the input signal now So that's at minus 112 dB on the signal generator and we're starting to get noise. Now we're at minus 
120 dB. And if we disconnect the speaker, you can just about hear it. If we get it to a point where the signal is practically unreadable, you can still just about hear it in the background. But the meter is doing exactly what it should be doing. So we'll increase the input signal again. So we'll back down at minus 132 dB on the generator. We'll bring it up slowly. As you can hear and see, as the signal gets cleaner, as the signal gets cleaner, the meter now drops until we get to full full input power of minus 70 dB, which should just be an S9, and everything is absolutely, absolutely rock solid, and no noise on the signal no noise on the voltage lines and everything is working perfectly so what have we learned from this well we've learned that the original author mr um now i'm not going to say his name we all know who it is has forgotten a very important component on his board maybe that's why his meter was over here with noise on it when he was putting the signal in maybe i don't know how he managed to get his board to work like it did without this part on the board because i'm using exactly the same schematic which he supplied on his channel with a, a freely downloadable link expecting people to make this and yeah I made one and it didn't work because it's forgotten a component so for me this now is fully operational we'll go back up to a 2k tone and even up to a, even up to a 3k tone and you can see the needle is full scale as you would expect Drop it down to a 1k tone, needle drops exactly like it should. Now I had a little chat with um, one of my good friends, Mr. Wizard Andy, and showed him the results of this because he has got a, the original Motorola meter and I wanted to check that the behaviour of this meter was expected. And yes. The behavior is exactly as you would expect with this so 130 and 70 brilliant excellent so all in all now we've fixed that problem quite happy with that but anyway stay tuned for the next part in this series when hopefully we've got the Motorola boards which should be a direct copy of the schematic in the Motorola um, book but anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe join the Facebook group and we'll see you in the next video